Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode of my vlog. My name is Fred, I'm the image engineer and today I want to show you guys a bit about whip pans in Premiere Pro. A whip pan is a great technique to use. You hide your cuts between two clips by panning into the direction at the end of your first clip and then continuing that pan on the start of the second clip and thus creating a nice blurry transition all across. Best way to do this is have a slow shutter speed on your camera. Usually about 30th of a second to about 50th of a second works quite well and matching up those two edits in Premiere Pro. Don't waste another second, let's get into Premiere, let's get into my office, get to it then. Awesome. So to start off this tutorial, we've got these clips of me making coffee and I transition between them using a whip pan. So to start off your first whip pan, all you need to do is shoot two clips and once you've reached the end of your first clip, pan in a direction of your choice as well as a speed of your choice and make sure that the beginning of the second clip has the same direction and the same speed and then due to the motion blur of your camera shooting at 30th or 50th of a second it'll create the illusion that it's actually all just one single shot so the slower the shutter speed of your camera the more motion blur you'll get which hides the cuts quite well using a faster shutter speed on your camera will actually show the cuts clearer due to the lack of motion blur between the cut an important thing to remember is to use two clips with the same kind of brightness levels in between. This will ensure that the cut looks seamless and will give you the illusion that it's all just one take. So for this clip to work, I basically just took the two clips with the same brightness level, kind of cut halfway through the first pan, just when it reaches that white spot there, and then started halfway through the second pan strip could actually be trimmed a little bit more to the right there just when we're about to reach that white spot there just to make the brightness levels a little bit more equal if you're shooting two clips with different brightness levels you might run into problems as when you're transitioning between two of them you will immediately see a difference between the bright and the dark clip so as you can see we've got my coffee cup right there from above and we're transitioning to the side shot there and it's a little bit jarring because um, as you can see we've got my tripod leg right there and that's creating a bit of a, a weird effect and it's not really setting that illusion as well as I'd hope. And this brings me to my next point that you need to really really plan your whip transitions even if it means just taking a notebook with you on your shoot and this is just for your own reference just so you can remember where you panned up, down, left or right because the last thing you want to happen is to come back to your computer and realize that some of the edits don't match up because some are left and then right and then up and then down and they don't actually match up in the final edit. The way to be safe is just to do multiple takes of the same shot with different transitions. So you could do the same shot with a up and down transition, left or right, but at the end you've got all of them. This will hopefully keep you from tearing your hair out when you're busy editing the video. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for checking out the video and remember, remember, if you like it, share it, subscribe, comment below, hoping to see you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>